Urea cycle, explained in this picmonic by the U-Rainbow cycle, is a process for the body to break down and excrete excess nitrogen, taking ammonia and converting it to urea to be excreted. The first steps of this process take place inside the mitochondria, where N-acetylglutamate, the seagull glue tomato, works to allosterically activate carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1, represented as the cardboard mole synthesizer. This enzyme works to take an ammonia and carbon dioxide molecule, the AMO and CO2 molecule, along with two ATPs to form carbamoyl phosphate. Now at this point, the newly formed carbamoyl phosphate, illustrated as the cardboard mole, enters the urea cycle as a substrate for the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase, shown as the hornet train made of cardboard. Ornithine transcarbamylase then works to convert this substrate and ornithine into citrulline, represented as the citrus crystals. The next portion of the reaction occurs after transportation out of the mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol of cells, where aspartate, the ass potato, reacts with citrulline, working to form arginino-succinate, depicted as the orange suckers. Continuing through the urea cycle, arginino-succinate is cleaved into fumarate and arginine. Fumarate, shown as fuming, is then used in the citric acid or Krebs cycle, while arginine, the orange in genes, is then broken down by arginase to produce urea and ornithine. In this last step of the urea cycle, arginine is combined with water, which is converted to urea, seen as water changing into U-rainbow colors, and subsequently excreted by the kidneys into urine. Arginine, in this last step, is converted to ornithine, the hornets, which is recycled back to the mitochondria to be used in the next urea cycle. Let's take another pass at the urea cycle. First, in the mitochondria, N-acetylglutamate activates carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1. This enzyme converts an ammonia and carbon dioxide molecule into carbamoyl phosphate with the help of two ATPs. At this point, the urea cycle begins, and the enzyme ornithine transcarbamylase takes this newly formed carbamoyl phosphate and combines it with ornithine to form citrulline. Citrulline is transported to the cytosol of the cells, where it combines with aspartate, working to form arginino-succinate. Later in the cycle, this is cleaved, forming fumarate, which is used in the citric acid cycle, as well as arginine. Arginine reacts with water, which is then converted to urea to be excreted in the urine. Arginine is converted to ornithine, which is then recycled back into the urea cycle to be used again. The urea cycle, or U-rainbow cycle, is a long, colorful, yet confusing process the body uses to get rid of waste. A perfect place to cover your tracks. Covered in glue after a highly controversial costume party gone wrong, the senator, Seagull Glue Tomato, needs to get rid of the evidence. So, he throws his waste into the cardboard mold synthesizer and pushes one handle. The wasted ammo shoots into the cardboard atom factory. The ammonia mixes with CO2 and boom! The cardboard mole is born and ready to do whatever it takes to keep that waste from getting into the wrong hands. Little does he know, a group of hornets on a train made of cardboard had made it into the mitochondria and are headed straight for him. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our cellular metabolism picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from glycolysis, fructose metabolism, urea cycle, citric acid cycle, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.